If you're looking for the perfect book for Mother's Day, here are recommendations from The Ultimate Authority. And that authority, of course, is my mother, Marjorie Carp, one of the best readers I know. Of all the videos I made last year, the one with my mother was the most popular, so she is back by popular demand. Welcome back, Mom. Thanks for so, having me. We started off this year with um, an immediate New York Times bestseller. It's called The School for Good Mothers by Jesmyn Chan. So this is a novel about a young mother. She leaves her child alone for a few hours. Um, and is reported to government authorities. Um, and then she faces the threat of losing custody of her child if she doesn't successfully complete a government program um, that's meant to correct bad mothering. So uh, what did you think of the School for Good Mothers? Well, it was definitely a gripping story. I was horrified with a lot of it. I think I told you that I once left you for five minutes when you were a baby. I was panic stricken the whole time. So I had a little bit of a problem with Frida leaving her baby that long. So the next book is What My Mother and I Don't Talk About, 15 Writers Break the Silence, which was edited by Michelle Filegate. It's an anthology about how what we don't talk about with our mothers affects us for better or for worse. But when I read this book, I was thinking, you know, whether there are really things that you and I don't talk about, because I actually think we talk about a lot of things. And I was thinking about how we both talked about mortality with each other. And <laughs> I said that I was going to donate my body to science, um, to which you responded, good, um, at least you'll finally get into Harvard Medical School, which <laughs> I think that, you know, if there were like a hall of fame for zingers from Jewish mothers, I think that, <laughs> I think that you might win for that one. The third book that you read was Damnation Spring by Ash Davidson. It's a novel about love, work, and family set in a logging community in California in 1977. What did you think of it? I love the way the author wrote the book with short chapters about the three main characters in it. And each character was, I, I loved them all. Yeah, I remember you calling me in the middle of reading and saying, this character better not die. Now, there is a book that I actually have not um, given you to read yet, and it's actually my pick for Mother's Day, Anna, the biography, and it's a biography of Anna Wintour, the editor of Vogue. The author, Amy O'Dell, interviewed about 200 people for it. You obviously have watched me for many years, and I would just ask you, have I ever demonstrated any interest in fashion? I can honestly say no. Have I ever even shown any interest in clothing? I can honestly say not at all. I was fascinated by this book about fashion because it took me inside uh, the magazine world and, and how passionate these people are. And even Anna Wintour, she's just so devoted to what she does. She actually has her own personal automatic coat rack in her closet. I mean, now that is commitment. Now I wanna ask you about one other book because this is actually the book that I believe is responsible for me even getting a job in the publishing industry. And it is a book that you recommended to me years ago um, called Loose Change by Sarah Davidson. Well, I love the book. I was a woman of the 1960s, but I was busy with my children. And when I read that book, I said to myself, where have I been? And it was just eye-opening for me. And then when I applied for my first job in publishing, I saw Loose Change on the shelf of the editor who I was interviewing with. And she had edited it. Her name is Kate Medina. She was an editor at Doubleday at the time. And Kate hired me as her editorial assistant. And I don't think she ever would have hired me if I hadn't read Loose Change. So I owe my entire career to you giving me that book. And that is one of the many, many reasons that I am very, very grateful to you. I want to congratulate you on another year of maternal excellence. And on behalf of my sister and all of your grandchildren, I want to say happy Mother's Day. We love you and we appreciate you. And you are the best son. And thank you. And that is the word according to Carl.